how to use supervise chat in Teams. This allows, for example, students to have restricted permissions and only be able to chat when owners like teachers are present in the chat. And this will help you set up on the admin side and setting policies and then we'll try it out. I'm signed in as the IT administrator and I'm gonna go in the lower left and click admin. Now click show all and go down here and choose Teams. On the left navigation, choose messaging policies. And now we're gonna add a new supervised chat policy. So click add, now give it a name and a description. Now scroll down to the bottom and on chat permission role, you're gonna make sure that you set this to restricted permissions. And now click save. This adds a new supervised chat policy. Now we're gonna assign users for this. On the left hand side, expand users and then click manage users. Now we'll click Adele Vance, she's a student. We'll go to policies and under assign policies, click edit. Over on the left, here is that messaging policy. Drop this down and I'm gonna choose supervised chat. So I'm gonna assign this policy to Adele and click apply. Now I'm doing this the very specific one student at a time way. Obviously as an IT admin, you can assign sets of policies to all sorts of groups of users, but I'm just showing you how to do it specifically for this one student. And we'll go back and assign it to one more student and that's gonna be Eldon. So I'll go back to manage users and I'll quickly go into Eldon and assign it for him too. Now Eldon is assigned, and so is the IT admin. Both Adele and Eldon now have the supervised chat policy. That means that they cannot start chats with each other unless there's an educator or an owner present in that chat with them. So the teacher would have to be present in that chat. And to reiterate, you typically would have educators given full permissions for chat and students given restricted permissions. There's another role that's limited permissions that could be useful for staff members. If you go to the link on the screen here, you can read a lot more about the details, but typically you want educators to have full permissions. Also, if you have a new policy like we've just created the messaging policy, it can take up to 24 hours on the IT admin side until that policy distributes across the entire tenant. So you might have to give it a day. The last thing you need to do is make sure you've enabled role-based permissions under team settings as an IT admin. So I'm gonna go up here on the left and drop down teams and choose team settings. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna make sure that role-based chat permissions is turned on. So if this is off, what you're gonna to wanna to do, switch it to on and then save, now you're done. Now we'll speed up for 24 hours and assume this policy is kicked in. I'll show what it looks like when Adele and Eldon try to chat just with each other with no teacher present and they'll be blocked. And then we'll show what it looks like when a teacher can start that chat and the both students can chat with this policy turned on. I'm signed in as Adele Vance and I'm a student and I do not have permissions to chat because we just turned them off in the policy. So Adele's gonna go to chat here and she'll type up a new message. We're gonna send this to Al and Al is a student. So Adele goes down to the bottom, then she'll type a message to Al and hit send. Oh, and look at that, unable to create chat. I don't have permissions to create a new chat with one or more selected participants. Now this time, Adele is gonna try and chat with her teacher. Teacher does have full permissions, that's Kara Coleman. So I'll hit new message. We'll add Kara, asking a question about homework, hit send. Great, now that message is allowed. Now if Miss Coleman starts a message with Adele and Al all in the same chat where Kara Coleman is supervising, that works too. So let's try that really quick. We'll sign in as Ms. Coleman. So here's that message from Adele and I'm gonna to go to the upper right and I'm gonna add in Al into this message. Al Fredrickson, hit add. And I'm gonna message both of them at the same time. So Kara Coleman gave a message to both Al and Adele and she'll send it. Okay, now that this chat has been started with the supervisor, this is Coleman present. Now Adele can chat back and forth with Al. So let's see that. I'm signed back in as Adele here. And you can see that Kara and Al and Adele are all in the same chat. So as Adele, I'm gonna respond back. Hey Al, let's sync up tonight and discuss the homework and hit send. Okay, now that Kara Coleman, who has full permissions in chat, she's part of this chat. She's a supervisor, let's call it. Now Al and Adele can chat back and forth. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.